the look is meant to be very strong from the front, so it's all about how the model looks as they're walking down the runway. We wanted something very strong, but we also didn't really use much product. We just used Kerastase volume spray, and we use that just to get a natural texture. There's a lot of big collars and big fur on the clothes, and we're going to tuck in the ponytails into the collars. That way we, it's not too distracting from everything. Everything else is very extravagant, so we wanted to keep the hair very minimal, but also very strong. Brushes and tools are just as important to the end result as any other of the styling products that are used. It's important so that you can style quickly, so that the style lasts a long time, and so that it's the most beautiful results that you can get. In this style, they were going for a very sleek look. So they first started with the heat pro, is what it's called, which is a ceramic barrel brush to quickly dry the hair and get that smooth finish. Then after they would use the combs, like we have our combs, or our teasing brush, which also has a sectioning pick in order to be able to create that middle part that you saw. And then lastly, to smooth out the entire head because they have so much hair, you would use a brush like this, which is our supreme combo. This one has bore and ionic bristles. Completely smooths out the hair as they're pulling it back to make the ponytail that they end up wrapping with a little elastic band. Today's look is very natural, very light makeup. We want to see skin, almost as if they just woke up and walked onto the runway. A little bit of contouring under the cheekbone, a little bit of highlighter, very light brows, a little bit of color underneath the eyes, and highlight above the cheekbone. Very simple, clean, and fresh. The inspiration is really untamed luxury. It's about women wearing magnificent clothes, gowns, furs, jeweled, in sort of an untamed wild way. If you looked at the furs, they have a natural sense to them. The inspiration was taken from the luxury of the winter woods. Snow on the ground, snow on the trees, cold outside, and as they wander through the woods, they stumble upon a great manor house. And in the manor house, it's filled with handsome men and fireplaces burning with woods, filling the air with a great scent. And they're there in these magnificent clothes in a relaxed atmosphere, not in a studied atmosphere. And that was the inspiration for this. So we've used Jacquard, we've used Damask, Velvet, we've done furs in, in Tarja, beautiful trims, the luxury of lynx and fox. So it's glamorous, but yet maybe it's just with a pair of pants and a little t-shirt. So I think that's part of the untamed luxury part that I think is so important. I thought it was gorgeous. It really was. You know, when you wear Dennis Basso clothes, you just feel so sexy and elegant, you can't help it. Even if you're feeling your fat day, <laughs> he'll make you feel good.
Dennis Basso was on hallucinogenics. <laughs> there was fur, there was lace, there was beading, there were all kinds of prints, all kinds of lengths. I mean, it was short, it was long, it was billowy, it was fitted, it was mermaid, it was extra stones. It was just so much, you couldn't take it all in. It was really a magical odyssey through fashion. The textures and the colors together and the beading with fur, it was just really magnificent. It's modern. Today, furs that were originally worn or beading only for the evening has totally changed and now it's become easy to wear, modern dressing, no problem. So it's, a, it's for a modern, more youthful look. rich, it's elegant, it's untamed, but it's very natural. Modern. Yeah. Hip. Let's go to the party. <laughs> I can't wait.